Dear friends, put down your gadgets, turn away from your computers, get out your scissors, paper, and glue, because it's time for a paper adventure. All right! Aristotle Knock Knock Paper Tales! In one particularly papery land, there lived a moose named Aristotle and a woodpecker named Knock Knock. However paperful, the summer in paper forest can't last forever. It always gives way to the fall. This time, it was just as it used to be. Look here, my friend. What do you see? Well, I see that our calendar is twice as thin as it was. And on top of that, I see that the fall has come. Look, Knock, what wonderful ripe apples we have in our garden. Time to reap the harvest. Well, how didn't I think of that? Ari, that means that all winter we'll be enjoying apple compote, apple jelly, and apple pies. How paperful. The friends picked up the baskets and darted outside at a moment's notice. Hurry up, my friend. The quicker we collect them, the earlier we'll have the compote and all the stuff on our table. I'm going as fast as I can! Together, Ari and Nock quickly collected full baskets of apples and hurried home to cook up a whole pan of delicious apple compote. Ari, either September has come too early this year, or the apples have been maturing for too long, but the compote is totally sour. No, September is right on time. But... We have collected some very strange apples, I think. You see, all the apples were of the same color, and which of them were sour and which of them were sweet was not so easy to figure out. Well, it seems absolutely clear, my friend, that a sweet apple looks almost identical to a sour one. There's really no difference at all. But... If the apples don't look different from the outside, maybe they're different on the inside? On the inside? Yes, yeah, Ari, from the inside. That means how they taste. How paperful, Knock. I've come up with an invention. Let's hurry outside. Now, we're going to check each and every apple by testing it ourselves. And we'll only take the sweetest ones. Oh, how paperful it is, Ari. Right. Everyone was so diligently looking for sweet apples that they were all worn out, and no one was able to cook the compote afterwards. Aristotle, I had no idea that reaping a harvest would be so much work. We need an identifier of sweet apples, because up until now, we've just been wasting the harvest. If it goes on like this, we're going to be left with no winter stock of apples. Ah, what a sweet apple this is. It seems like the worm knew that the apple would be sweet, so he crawled inside to relish it. That's right, Knock. The worms always find sweet apples without fail. So we'll ask him to help us this way. Get a wide strip of colored paper, scissors, glue, and a piece of green paper. Cut four equally wide strips out of the colored paper. Glue them into pairs on the backside. Glue the other strips into a corner and fold them as bellows. Cut out and glue on the eyes and a green leaf. Your worm is ready. Aristotle and Nock asked the worm to help them find sweet apples, because worms have this talent inherently. Wow, Ari! Look how many apples we've managed to collect! No winter at all could make us scared with this stock! Thanks to the worm's extraordinary talent, Aristotle and Nock Nock were enjoying the magnificent sweet apple compote for the entire winter. 
as well as apple pies and apple marmalade. And of course, they always treated the worm to them as well. Because if you help someone once, someone will help you someday too. This is the way things are in Paperland, but not only there. See you next paper time.